walked for many days in the rain and in the sun, traveled across many countries, crossed rushing rivers, and made their way through thick jungles while safeguarding the Holy Scroll, the Sefer Torah. According to the Book of Kings and the Book of Chronicles, the ten tribes were exiled from Israel 2,700 years ago, approximately 150 years before the destruction of the first Holy Temple. They were exiled to Babylonia, crossing the Sambation River, which, according to Jewish tradition, flows rapidly on all days of the week except for the Sabbath day. Ever since then, they have vanished without a trace. For over 2,000 years, the members of B'nai Minashe, who claim to be one of the lost tribes, have undergone many transformations and have been forced to adapt to a hostile and antagonistic environment. 2,700 years of legends and dreams. 2,700 years of yearning. 81-year-old grandfather Mandel Kingbo never heard of the chief rabbinate and was not aware of the activities of the Jewish agency. He never met Rabbi Yechiel Eckstein, and he had barely even heard of the Jewish state known as the State of Israel. But Grandfather Mandel knows that it is his duty to convey the stories and traditions. It is something that burns from within him, and he must pass it down to the future generations, as his grandfathers had passed it down to him. This tradition has been alive for almost 3,000 years. Despite being cut off from their homeland, the members of the B'nai Minashe observed ancient Jewish traditions and preserved the Jewish character typical of biblical times. My grandfather was 84 years old. I asked him, Grandfather, how you know about the history for our B'nai Minashe? And then he said, Oh, that's I know for hearing from my grandfather. We were lost and we, don't, we, we didn't know nothing. And we have to learn it. Barukata, Sam, Adonainu, Melek Taulam, but in the heart of the people, from generation to generation, remain the love and feeling of Israelites. B'nai Manasseh are coming back. B'nai Manasseh are coming back. Going back to Zion. And their prayers came true. Grandfather Mandel, together with a group of 218 people, immigrated to Israel. After almost 3,000 years, the B'nai Minashe have returned to their homeland. Concepts that were once just an ideal have become real. A dream that existed for generations has become a reality. The immigration of the B'nai Menashe is another glorious chapter in the saga of the children of Israel's homecoming from all corners of the world. The chapter of this story has been concluded. However, the stories will continue to be passed on. The next story, which will be the one told by the grandfather's grandchildren to their grandchildren, will be a story of a country that opened its gates to its lost children. the story of the Jewish urgency, which brought them to Israel and helped them become absorbed into Israeli life. The story of the good people who decided to join in this mission with great enthusiasm due to their belief in the eternity of Israel, so that the B'nai Menashe's ancestors' dream could become reality. Bible teaches in Isaiah that a day will come when the Gentiles will carry your sons in your arms and your daughters in your shoulders and bring them to the land of Israel. My friends, that day is today.